Today we we're shaving my head. See what happens. Let's get it. <laughs> Alright, so we are mostly done with the bottom of the fan, with the floor and everything. Still gotta figure out what to do with that. I was thinking originally to put some kind of grass or something there that you could wipe your feet off, but also that it wouldn't, wouldn't get too dirty or look too dirty and or would be easy to clean. So I'll have to figure that out still. That's pretty much the last part of the floor. But now we're going to be, well, we've already started on the top. Just doing this has been quite a process already, but we're, we're not even close to being finished. Um, at some point, I'm going to have to get something that's really long and straight. Check how straight these are going across. If not, like say if that one's lower and then I put the roof on and screw everything into this one and that one and over there then I'm gonna be able to obviously see that there's a bend in the roof going up that way, dropping here, and then going back up that way. And that's just not gonna be very aesthetic. So if we're able to be smart enough to, to stop prevent that from happening, then what I think I'll do is maybe rent or buy a planer and then shave off like, if this one's lower, then I'll shave off this one so it can go higher and everything will at some point go straight. But I also don't have like a really long level, which that might be something that I, I might have to buy and return with the planer because um, I only just need them for that, really. Uh, otherwise, maybe I could like use a really long board, <sighs> um, but I'll have to make sure that that board is super straight and long enough. And also getting the Intello Plus um, up, up under this or on top of these has been a process as well, getting it taped down. Um, but I'm starting to find a rhythm with that. But first, I'm going to install just this one last furring strip here. This is probably the hardest spot to figure out what to do with the deferring strip. Um, even the back one, I would say, was a little bit easier. So I have wood going all the way down that way, that one, which y'all saw in the last video. For some reason, I, did, I thought it'd be a good idea to install ribbon that's here and then just use the uh, washer there to make sure that this Intello Plus isn't going anywhere, bolt it down. Um, I might be able to use those bolts for something at some point to anchor something down. Um, but maybe not. I don't know, we'll see how that process goes. Um, I'm probably gonna cut this, cut a few squares down and then tape here to make sure that that's all sealed up. Tape that up as well. But yeah, back to this. So I just put tape on the other side of this. Um, you can see in that time lapse, and then just uh, was cutting this bit by bit. I figured out exactly to which square I needed to cut. You can see like these little squares. Save. Like this is where I need it to cut. When I pulled it tight and then this is the line that gets me up there. I just cut straight across that line all the way down and I push it up there, figure it out where I'm going to put the tape and then, so I'm gonna put the tape here and the tape it right on top of here. And I start shaping it all out. But this is also complicated because you only have so much space here to get the drill. So here are the materials I have today. I'm gonna be using this, whatever you would call this thing, to drill into this, and then this part, it'll turn as this turns. And I'm just going to, I put bolts and everything else. I didn't really want to use screws, but I'm just gonna use screws for this one. Self-piercing, the Lowe's guy convinced me just to get those. Those are one and a quarter inch screws. The furring strip is three quarters. It's one by one by two. So that one inch height is actually three quarters. Uh, so having this one and a one and a quarter is going to give me an extra half inch through the wood after the wood to drill into the metal. And I'll just put like maybe five screws. I can't put the wood, put this sandwiched in between the wood because that's going to make the wood go lower and it's not going to line up with those. So what I might end up doing is I might just end up cutting this and then like somehow gluing it up there so it's not dropping down anymore. So same furring strip here. I'm gonna measure it up to where it starts bending, where does it start bending? Maybe even, maybe there actually, that's pretty good. Once I get up, get that out the way, then I'll start on the wider furring strips. I'm not gonna put any here. I guess I'll start here all the way down, straight down. And then start back there all the way on this side. I think I'll go all the way up here. Does that sound like a plan, Luna? Does it sound like a plan? Give me some, give me some calls. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. I think 
This is a countersink. This is a spade bit. I'm going to countersink where I'm putting the screw so this flat head and be completely flat level off with the board so that the head isn't pushing it out that way. Just a small detail to add there. Tell me all your deepest secrets. Right, so we're working on these upper cupboard framing spurring strips. I think this is how I'm going to do it. I do remember Moser makes saying this when he used the Intello Plus. The only reason I'm afraid to do it like this is because now if I have to move this, if it's too tight or something, um, or I have to get up under here to run the wires or do anything, um, I'm gonna have to take this off completely. It's just a little bit more permanent. It is a lot easier doing it this, or it's a lot faster doing it this way. And that entire process is using a step bit to drill a hole through the metal, painting it to keep it from rusting, poking a hole through the Intello Plus and installing the rivet nut to secure the Intello Plus down. Then I'll measure how long the board needs to be, cut it the size, use the butyl tape, tape method to stick it onto the wood, press it up against there to see where the rivet nut is, drill holes through the furring strips use the sink bit to cut out a little bit of wood so that the head of the bolt goes in a little bit more and then place the furring strip up there bolt it down and start the next one down simple enough doesn't it but it's not So I've been getting, getting a lot of work done in here. We've got the whole door, uh, we've got all the way down, taped all the way through to the back, then around the wheelbase there, then over all the way to the corner back there. We've got both of the doors all the way up to the top and across. Yeah, so lastly, we just need to finish off this whole bottom side. In order to do that, I had to take this desk off and then those spring strips were up under the teleplus. So I had to take those off before I taped up of here and then just bolt them back in on top of it, then start taping all the way up to here. But before that, it was most of my time was spent trying to take out these wires uh, because once I tape up here around the wheelbase, I'm not going to be able to access those anymore. I'm in a, a bit of a rush. The air conditioner is not working. That's a big story. I'll have to talk about that later. But yeah, now that I've got this all taped up, I can hurry up and put the desk back and then start cleaning up a little bit so I can drive the van to go get some gas. Since that air conditioner isn't working, the van air conditioner is the only one that's keeping me cool. And Luna, and it's been like that for a couple of weeks now. But yeah, since I'm about out of gas, I had to turn the van off and I couldn't move it until I at least put the desk back and then put some things down so where they don't won't fly around the van while I go get gas. I'm gonna put this back real quick, go get some gas and start finishing up the rest here. I think I'm almost done. Last two things that I need to do that are on my mind. I'm almost caught up with everything, but the last two things I need to do is finish up the Velcro. I just wanna put a strip here, put some more pieces on these planks there. I think a few more pieces on those planks. That one doesn't have Velcro. Uh, I think somewhere down there also. And then lastly would be finishing this furring strip. I didn't end up going all the way down because I was thinking that I'm going to put a shower here. So that probably wouldn't need to be there or it would get in the way. So I'm just gonna leave that empty for now. But before I can do that one, I have, there's a bit of metal comes out right here. So I can't just put it here. It's flat here, but there, there's this thing in the way. So I've got to cut the uh, burning strip to about there so that I'll be able to put it down. I know you're so hot in here, Luna. I'm so sorry. Give me papa. Papa, yeah. <laughs> All right, the greater part of the morning, well into the afternoon, and we have finished up taping all the way through the, to the back. We uh, have finished up any of the spots that were missing Velcro just because I didn't get enough when I first bought it. So we got that finished up, we're cleaning up and everything. And this board right here, it's up there, but look at that. It's, it's for some reason just not going in. This one isn't really in. 
this rivet nut just completely came out of the, the metal. I can't even put another rivet nut there unless I get a bigger nut. Oh, well. At least it's off the floor, out of the way. So I'm I'm just like, I'm done with that. For now, I'll come back to it later, which might just be when I actually need to start screwing stuff into it. I'm just so tired of dealing with rivet nuts. It's crazy. And obviously the air conditioner, like I was saying, uh, it's been giving me problems. So it's just been like problems on problems on problems. But if you're curious to know like the monstrous amount of problems that come with any particular project in van life. Stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna be difficult to tell what I'll be doing in the next couple of weeks though. Uh, my job is also going through something to where I can't really get paid right now. So I'm not gonna be buying like new materials or anything like that. Uh, I'm just going to be focusing for sure on the air conditioning problem and maybe like catching up on all the editing that I need to do, which I'm pretty close to caught up right now. So not too much to do there. I'll be working on the quality of my videos, the quality of my camera, my shots. I've been working with the uh, the Magic Camera app on the iPhone. So far, it's kind of, anno it's been pretty annoying. Since I don't have an external hard drive for the iPhone, it's recording the data directly on the, the hard drive of the phone. It seems to not be super compatible with that. I deleted the video, but it's still reading that all of that data is still there. Had to like hard reset the phone. But like I said, since in the next few weeks, uh, uh, it'll be kind of slow. I'll be able to focus more on those things and hopefully be bringing you guys some quality content in the next few weeks. Thanks for staying through to the end and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Why are you so sad?